This problem is related to tension and speed at any angle theta. Let us try this problem. So we have been given a simple pendulum. A bob is attached at the bottom. M is the mass of bob. Length of a string is L. Initially, Bob is given a horizontal velocity u. So, it will follow a circular path. So after some time, it will cover angle theta. We can write forces on the ball at angle theta. One force built mz is acting vertically downward. Tension is acting radially inward. We can take component of mz in tangential and radial direction. So this angle is theta. So in radial direction we will have mg cos theta. In tangential direction we will have mg sin theta. Omega is d theta by d theta where theta is in increasing direction that is if time increases theta also increases. So let us apply Newton's second law. We can write equation in tangential and radial direction. So let us apply in radial direction. Forces acting in radial inward direction is T minus mg cos theta. is equals to mass into acceleration. In tangential direction, force is mg sin theta so this is mg sin theta 
mass into tangential acceleration dv by dt is the tangential acceleration we have negative sign because force and acceleration both are in opposite direction M cancels so we have G sin theta is equals to minus dv by dt let us call equation 2 we have to find velocity as a function of theta so we can use equation 2 let us multiply and divide by d theta and d theta by dt is omega so minus omega dv by d theta we can also use in circular motion v is equals to r omega so omega is v by r in this case radius is l so omega is v by l So let us separate the variable theta one side and v one side. We can integrate when theta is zero, v is u, and when theta is theta, let us say v is v. So v from u to v, and theta from zero to theta. So sine theta is minus cos theta. And integration of V is V square by 2. So we can cancel the negative sign both side. Take the L this side. So we'll have v square by 2 minus u square by 2. Upper limit minus lower limit. So v square is u square plus 2zl cos theta minus 1. So V is a square root of U square plus 2ZL cos theta minus 1. Let us take negative sign out. So we will have minus 2ZL 1 minus cos theta. This is the final value for V. We have to also find tension as a function of theta. So we can use this expression. Now we know the value of V. So let us plug here. So V is under root so we can square multiply by m by l so let us take mg cos theta right side
So we'll have 3 mz cos theta minus 2 mz Now let us take mz common So we will have 3 cos theta minus 2 So this is the expression for tension as a function of theta Finally we can take m common So this is the expression for tension as a function of theta